Welcome, welcome everybody. How you guys doing today? So today is Tuesday. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to use a counter scene tool, okay? And I hope everybody doing okay today. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. And please let them know if you know somebody want to learn the math account for beginning, okay? And without further ado, let's go to our uh, master cam nine, and I'm going to show you how to use that. Okay, from here, let's go to uh, our main menu. And go ahead and select F9 here. And go ahead and select a create and select rectangle. And we're going to use one point. And width and height, we're going to use 60 by 40. Okay. And then we're going to select OK here. And then we're going to put an origin. Click Escape of F1 for the screen in the middle. And then minimize F2. We're going to select on one point again, and we're going to use width and height again. We're going to use 40 by 20, OK? And then we're going to select OK, and then we put in the middle again, and click Escape. So from here, we're going to put a three hole on this side, three hole on this side, and then a four on the bottom, four on the top, OK? Now to do that, we're going to go to main menu and then click on Create. And then we're going to select on line, and then we're going to use parallel line, okay? Then we're going to select side distance, okay? We're going to use from here. Now, on the side of this line right here, we're going to use four inches, okay? Because like four inches right there, then we're going to select from the bottom, one right there, and then from the side again, and then from the top, okay? So we have that. So we're going to make some more line because we had to put, you know, three on this side, three on this side, okay? So now we're going to select from this line here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right there. So first we're going to do one other time, okay? We're going to use this line right here to use the uh, position, okay? Now let's go to main menu and we're going to go select on create and then point and then position. Okay. So we do one, we skip one. Okay. We're going to do only three. Okay. We're going to do this one right here. One. Okay. And we're going to select right there. Two. Let's skip one and then three right there. Okay. Then we're going to come back this side right here. We're going to do one right here. Let's skip one, two, skip one, and then three. Okay. okay, that's how we do it. So now we're going to delete this line right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, let's see if we got it right. Okay, delete this line right here. Okay, that's what we got. Okay, just want to show you guys how we got these three lines in the right place. Okay, now, so we're going to make four lines I and mean, four holes on this line right here, and then four on this line right here, okay? So now, let's go to make some line again, okay? We gotta do this side now. So click on create, and line, and go parallel, and side distance. And we're gonna select this line right here, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna make some line from this side. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and then put one more here. Let's just make sure you got it right. So click escape. So we're gonna make four on this side, right? So we're gonna put four, and then four on this side. Okay. So we're gonna do uh, skip one and do one. So before we do that, let's go uh, delete some line here. Okay. Let's delete the first line right here and first line right here. Just want to see how it's cleared up, okay? Don't want you guys miss out or anything. So now let's go to a main menu and then we kind of click on create, click on point, and then position, okay? So we're going to make on this one right here, okay? So we skip this one, we're going to make one right here, okay? One, skip one, and then two, skip one, and then three. Get one and then four right there. Okay. So we just want to do four. Okay. 
Now this side, the same thing, we skip one right here, we're just gonna do right here. One, skip one, and then do this one right here. Skip one, then one right here, skip one, and this one right here. All right, let's see if we, you know, look right to us. If it doesn't look right, we go ahead and, you know, redo it, and, you know, see how it goes. Okay. Just like that. Just like that right there. So, you know, to me right now, we want to add one more right here, okay, to make it look right, right? So to do that, we can add, we just go ahead and, you know, undelete this line right here, okay? So let's go ahead and delete the line, okay? Let's go ahead and delete the line. Okay, we gotta do one more here. Okay, we gotta do one more right here and one more right here at the point position, okay? We got one, two, three, four, we gotta do one more right here, okay? Let's do that. Let's go to main menu again and then go ahead and click create. And then we're gonna use point and then select a position. We gotta add one more right here, see how it look. Okay, go ahead and add it, one here and one right here, okay? So now we're gonna go back to delete the line again. It's gonna see how it look, okay? Okay, just like that. That's how it looks right there. So, but when you look at the rectangle in the, in the middle right here, right? So it kind of look, you know, pretty good, but I don't really like quite yet. So we kind of delete one position right here, just like that, and delete this one right here. Now let's see how it lined up right here, okay? And to me, it doesn't really look that good, okay? But let's go ahead and add that thing back. Let you know, see how it go right there. Okay, so let's leave this line here. This is line here. So we got five, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's lined up. I like it. So what do you guys think about that? Okay. So you we got one five. Instead of four, we're doing we're making five hole here and three here. Okay. So we're making five. So five, ten, sixteen total. Okay, instead of 14. Okay, now we're gonna do this uh, rectangle right here. We're gonna make a chamber on all four corners here. Let's go to main menu. Let's go to main menu and we're gonna click on create and next menu here, select that and select a chamber. And this right here is a one distance. We're gonna use that distance one. We're gonna put uh, three inches, go ahead and select enter. Okay, select okay here. And we share on this first line and the second line. First line, second line. First line, second line, just like that. Okay. And now we're just gonna go back to the main menu. And we're gonna drill this all this hole that we make, okay? And then we're gonna put a countersink inside that hole right there. So we'll make it a little bit bigger so we can put a screw inside. Okay. Now let's go to a two pad here. And we're gonna select drill here. And we're gonna start from the bottom right here and then to the top all around, okay? Go ahead and select manual here. And then we're gonna select this one right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. Okay, so we're done. So I go and click escape. That's how it looks right there. Now we're gonna go over here. Looks like done right here. Go and right click this or tool library. Go and right click that and get a tool from our library. We're gonna use uh, the tool um, one number 162, which is 53 by 64. Okay, now let's scroll down to get that tool number gonna be 162, it's right here, 53 by 64 drill. We're gonna select that, okay. And those, on this right here, say feed rate, plunge rate, we're gonna change that, okay. And it's say right here, 53 for drill, okay, tool number one. Okay, we're gonna change the speed rate, okay. Let's put 4,000, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna change spinner speed. Okay, we're gonna put 2,000, okay. And then on this section right here, we can say all drill, first drill, okay? Drill. 
Okay. And then in, on the top right here, we're gonna select the drill. We're gonna select on the uh, clear. And then make sure we got a top of stock right. We got a 0.75, which is a three quarter. And then on the depth, make sure you put, you know, not all the way through, we're gonna just go ahead, uh, put a well, 0.7, okay? Negative 0.7. We don't wanna go all the way through yet. Okay, and then select okay. And then on here, we're gonna go on drill again. We're gonna select on drill again. Now this time we're gonna use a countersink on top of that holes, okay? So let's go ahead and select on man, menu. Right here, go ahead and select that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Go ahead and click escape, and then you click done here. And then this one right here, our tool library again, go ahead and right click. Instead of get a tool library, we go ahead and select on create new tool. Now you see right here, say all the tools that we have in our library, go ahead and select on right here, countersink right here. Okay, so we're gonna select on countersink. Okay, and this right here will tell you, it say right there, the overall two inches and shoulder 1.5, fluid one inch. And diameter we're gonna put, I would say one and a half. Just go ahead and put 1.5. Just gonna use that one for five count thing. Okay, and then select okay. And then right here, say tool number two, tool name. Right here, we're just gonna put, put 1.5. Okay. And then the feed rate, you're just gonna go, go ahead and put 100. Okay. And then the spin speed right here, you're just gonna put 200 also. And then right here in this section, we're gonna go ahead and put counter sync. Okay, like that. And then on the coolant right here, go ahead and turn it on. Then on the top, you're gonna say the depth right here, we're gonna put point, negative point 0.25. Okay, just wanna make it big enough for the head of the screw, okay? Just like that, negative point 0.25, and we're gonna select okay. And on this side, we're gonna go ahead and select on contour, we're gonna cut this out. Okay, go ahead and select right here. Okay, you can select chain here. And we're gonna cut all the way through. And then on this side right here, we're gonna cut all the way through. Also, we're gonna take all that part out. Okay, go ahead and select done. Go back our tool library again, go ahead and right click. We're gonna get all two from our library this time. We're gonna go to tool 239, which is a half in flat in mill. Okay, go ahead and scroll down until you get 239 right here. Click OK. I said right here, tool number three, having flat 0.5, okay? Feed rate, plunge rate, retracted rate, we go ahead and put 9.0 all the way through. Plunge rate, 9.0. Retracted rate, 9.0. And then we have the spindle speed right here, we're gonna put 4,000. We got a coolant right here, go ahead and turn it on. And the section right here said finish pad, okay? So it's finish pad. Then on the top contour right here, go ahead and select that. Make sure it's right. We got absolute right here, clearing 2.0. Let's stop a stock, we got a point 0.25. The depth, we got to cut all the way through, which is negative point 0.25, okay? And then on the right side right here, say compensation type. We're gonna use where. And the tip, of course, we're gonna use center, okay? And then we're gonna select okay here. That's how it looks right there. Go ahead, and on this left side, select on operation. And we're gonna go ahead and select all. We're gonna verify that. And go ahead and select on start button. Now this is how it looks, guys. And then we're gonna put a counter stock on the top, just like that. Okay, and now we cut it out. Okay, that is how you use the counter thing, guys. So when we make a drill already on this hole, we make a drill on the hole, and then we're gonna put a counter thing on the top of the hole. So we'll make the hole a little bit bigger, so enough to put the head of screw inside flush on there, okay? So let's go to a job setup.
let's go to job set up right here. We're gonna put right here, say 40 on the Y, and then X on 60. And then on the Z, we're just gonna go five inches. Then we're gonna check on this display stock. Let's say it's like, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna go to fit the screen and zoom here, and then we're gonna go to isometric here, okay. Gonna go to like again, fit screen right there. And you want to rotate, go ahead and right click on here. And select on dynamic spin. You're just gonna use that and rotate it wherever you want to see from the top, bottom, side to side. Okay. It's up to you guys. Okay. So this is how it is, guys. Uh hope you guys like this video and don't forget to ring the bell for the new for the new video. And I uh, thank you for today. And you guys have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.